Yo, what's up guys? Well, Sandy SG and welcome to Masmo Show episode 19 and this is your play of the day. There were so many suggestions for the previous episode and I basically just went with the one with the most thumbs up and it was Clark's block and it was absolutely brilliant. He won us the game with that. We, it was still nil-nil and we blocked it off the line. Um, we do have the end of month report as well with all the players but I want to mention one thing now. We are coming to the end of the season and um, I want to like do like an awards type thing like player of the season and stuff like that and obviously top goal scorer. But I want to have the like, subscribers player of the season so in the comments below now guys I would like you to post a player which uh, you think have played so well throughout the season. He stands up from the crowd and he deserves to like just have that standing ovation uh, for himself. But uh, anyway, yeah, so post in the comments side. If you see someone else's comment who got a similar one to yours, be sure to thumbs that up so you can kind of get to the top. Um, and then, yeah, sorry, we kind of know the drill. But let's crack on into the first game, which is against QPR. And this is a league game. And um, I found out as well uh, when I was looking at the fixtures, we could actually win the league this episode. Um, all depends on if uh, Chelsea go the other way. Um, but anyway, QPR in our first game, uh, we started off with a bit of a fumble. Uh, there. It was fairly strange, but we did defend really well. I believe that was uh, Elric, and he did really well to defend that. Solazano on the ball now. So I, like, I believe he uh, has a shot, but uh, I did try to put it round the goalkeeper on the outside. But And as well, if that happened, it would have been a finesse, and then uh, the goalkeeper would parried up to my attacker. But they do end up scoring a fairly lucky goal. For some reason, my players just wasn't catching up with him. He wasn't exactly that fast either. I even like switched to my winger, and he didn't like even... I catch up with him, it's pretty strange, but 47 minute now, we get very close to equalising, it was just over the bar by Solazano, so unfortunately at half time, we do go with the lead 1-0 down, and uh, well, so we go in 1-0 down, but we do have Tosh, on the ball now, and look at this, what a run from Solazano there, it was absolute brilliance, um, and a great ball from Tosh, it's to not perfectly get on his head, just before the goalkeeper did, and it was a brilliant goal. I tried a similar technique now, running down this left hand side. For some reason, Robinson's trying to keep up with me. But we do uh, cut on inside now. We do give the ball to King. King shoots, and a great save, but unfortunately, it wasn't good enough to keep away from Solazano to get his second goal and also his 21st goal of the campaign. And to be, to be honest, Solazano's a great player. King got very unfortunate there, but great reactions from Solazano there to actually. Get, get us the two goal, uh, the the lead even I should say, it's weird actually going 1-0 down, um, but yeah we do end up winning that game 2-1, it was a great win for us, uh, especially obviously with the season coming to a close very soon, and there you see there, Solzano 21 goals there, um, next game, we all these episodes, all these games as well are actually in the Premier League, so it is a quite a major league title winner, or something like that, these games are, so we are playing uh, Wigan this particular game, uh, we do have a similar lineup, but we do have Levin Dauncey playing over Solazano. Um, but the reason for that was due to tightness. But we do go 1 0 down, actually. Uh, it was. Um, I really don't know how to describe what happened. We just simply got broke open. And we didn't keep up with the pace with Zamora. And it was very disappointing that uh, that went against us. But straight after, guys, literally seconds after, straight from kickoff, Levin Dauncey, ladies and gentlemen. Shoots and scores out into the bottom right hand corner. Um, goalkeeper, poor goalkeeper there. You'll be able to see this in replay now. Um, it actually hit the goalkeeper's hands and then he parried it onto the post and it slots on in. Um, it, we, To be honest, we shouldn't have got that goal, but lucky enough, it was a brilliant goal. But we do have now Sydney Salmon Ball. Look at this, a 1 2 passing. Absolute brilliant. And the only thing we needed there was an, actu an actual goal. But we do have Bojan now on the ball, coming down, crosses it into Lewandowski, and he hits the post, and it slots on in, and it just goes past the line. Um, <laughs> we hit the same post twice now, and near enough the exact same position, so uh, yeah, Lewandowski, head it down. Uh, if you want to score as well, guys, a big tip is actually aim down, and you normally uh, end up scoring. But we do go in with the lead at 2-1, but then uh, just after half time, Lewandowski on the ball now, cuts on inside. Lewandowski squeezes it on into Hurd, and Hurd goes for the shot, and he hits the post again, and it goes in that same post, but at the other end, if you get what I mean. But uh, we go in, end up going 3-1 up. It was a really good shot, actually. The ball bounced just in front of the goalkeeper, which can easily cause the goalkeeper to, like, go off and he can't like he can't like save it or anything but we do end up winning that game three one ladies and gentlemen and the next game uh is a title decider um you see the points now i believe if chelsea get one point um out of the next game we win our next game we do win the title 
with four games in hand. I know it's quite surprising we got four games left and we could win the title. But Everton now are in our way. They do have a good side, such as Good Willie, and we actually try to buy ourselves. But on a uh, tenth minute now, we do have Borjan on the ball. Ronaldo chops inside, squares it across to Solazano, and Solazano was so close. I was hoping him to like um, run around the ball and then to just finesse it in. It would have done really well for us and it would have worked. But uh, Solzano again misses, unfortunate, but great reactions there from Borjan. How on earth he beat Sacco to the ball there. Uh, I think he just had the pace all through him. Watch now, Sacco actually goes for the header. Watch now, um, silent. See, so he goes for the header, completely misses it. And we go for the volley instead of the header. So you can see where uh, we actually won now uh, there. Poor defender from Sacco. But we do have Solazano on the ball now. He goes for the shot, but unfortunately this is why we couldn't get enough curve on it. Then Klein giving him a nice clap there. Um, but in the first uh, half, we do go 1-0 up at half time. So it's not bad, and uh, it's totally be honest with him. But we do have a corner. 76th minute. We cross the to Benedetti, and we do end up scoring another head of the ball down to the ground. Uh, goal to actually score. And without a doubt, that technique actually works all the time if you were aimed down. He usually beats the goalkeeper. But that's the 90th minute. We win the game. But how are Chelsea done, ladies and gentlemen? This is could be the title decider now. Let's have a look. There are around four games left. And we do. We do end up winning the league, guys, in this short period of time. Talk more about it in the next episode. Sorry, it's going to end now. But, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.